Ooh, how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Rise SMP episode. We're going to continue today with our Blaze Farm. And you guys have already basically heard uh, what we've been doing recently are the very first steps on actually turning off the spawning rates on this little platform here. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, continue. So what we're going to do first is, let's see, we've done this. We're going to actually extend this layer another one down. Just to make sure that we have um, the max efficiency of spawning. So we want to go one below the actual spawner and then do another layer. So we're going to fill in that layer that we left out initially or yesterday. So let me take these out real quick. So we're going to fill this in. And this is going to basically, so this is going to be our main layout. It's going to be a three or well, technically four. One, two, three. Yeah, it's going to be a four by four by nine by nine. So it's it's kind of it's kind of difficult to kind of uh, you know kind of imagine it, but once you guys get the hang of it, it shouldn't be too hard. It looks like this isn't spawning right now, so I can actually just omit these blocks overall, just like that. And there we go. So here's our main layout, and what we're gonna want to do next is we're gonna try to keep it as dark as possible in there. So I'm not gonna do any of the fancy glass or anything. But what we're gonna do next is we're going to extend this down. So we're gonna start the funneling process going down. So if this is the initial spawn point, we want them to flow down. We're gonna go two blocks down, two blocks down, two blocks down on each corner. And then we're basically just going to connect these corners like so. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I keep misplacing blocks and it's wasting time. No, no big deal, right? No big deal. As, lo as soon as we get this this blaze farm up and running, this is going to be an amazing like AFK XP. Like while I'm doing homework, I can just AFK and grab XPs. So it's going to be really, really, really nice. So there we go. So actually, I'm going to have to, I might have to pause the video for a second here, guys, while I do mine out a little bit more down because I haven't, I didn't really do that off camera as you guys can see. I did a little bit, but there needs to be a little bit more. So we're going to pause right here, guys, and we will be back in a little bit. All right, guys, we are back. I went a couple layers underneath again, and then we could continue on with the build. But before we continue building that bottom portion here, we're going to jump on top of the actual uh, spawner here, and we're going to mark out basically the little floorings that we're going to have uh, for the wither. So if this is, I think the, or not the wither, I keep saying wither, I don't know why. If the blaze is, I think the blaze spawner should be, where is it? Right here somewhere. One, two. All right, so this is the top layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and mine out this section here. So there's only going to be like a one roof ceiling. Well, technically we can make it a two roof ceiling just to make it a little bit more efficient. But for right now, we're going to mine out this little portion right here. And it makes it so that we're just one block right above the blaze spawner. So if I mine the center block block right here, the blaze spawner is right there. So that's how you guys are going to be able to mark out this portion. Now to make the roof portion, you as you guys can see, you make a little boundary like so. And then you're going to go one above it like that and then just make a quick roof. So we're, we're going to be two blocks above the roof. There's going to be two air spaces above the actual roof or above the actual spawner so this will make it max efficiency it'll make it it'll less it'll make it be able to spawn more more frequently of course and then that'll of course up our xp levels per hour and that'll make it efficient so we can level up the fastest way possible so we're gonna go ahead and continue with that and block this off completely and that that's basically our roof so if you guys remember um Let's see, so the blaze spawner should be right here, which it is. So let's let's mark this out with a torch, actually. So let me mine that, grab this. So if this is a torch, we're going to poke four holes right here, which will act as the reminders of where we want the little... Um, the little it's basically like a lava switch we're gonna have a lava switch that will enable us to kind of basically turn on and turn off the lava the thing so it doesn't like overpopulate the world so that's basically our roof guys you go one above it and then put the roof right on top and then make the four lava holes uh, basically on all four corners of the blaze spawner so if that is your blaze spawner right there you're gonna make the lava holes just perfectly diagonal one block diagonal in each way two spaces above the actual blaze spawner so the blaze spawner is right through this block right here and there's your roof it's a very simple roof really really easy to make and it makes it so that it spawns at max efficiency with only one blaze spawner all right so our next portion of this uh actual tutorial slash walkthrough is we're gonna start to actually funnel in these um 
the blaze. So how we're going to do that is we're going to have a little layer here. So this has to be at least two below it. Let's go one more. Let's go. Let's go right here. So there's going to be two here. And then what this is going to do is so we're going to have to mark this out. I'm probably going to have to get more stone bricks before I continue this video. But what it's going to do is you guys can look really, really quickly here. Bam, bam, bam. So we're going to mark it out here. So right below it. So basically, if you guys can look, you're going to make another wall here. But there's going to be like a little corner, a little bit of a corner. So this is like a dead spot corner. So technically, they won't be able to move or nothing will happen if they end up landing on that corner. But that corner is needed in order to kind of make this so that it's like a funneling feature. So there, here's another corner again. As you guys can see right here, there's going to be another corner formed. And it's basically going to be the same thing around throughout. So you're going to go one block in or right beneath one of the diagonals and put a block down. And then two blocks below your initial four layers. And then you're going to kind of just do a little pattern all the way around this little area here. So this is this does take some time. This does take some re a, a good amount of resources, actually. But we're, we're just going to kind of go through with it. And it's, it's a really, really good investment, especially knowing that Blaze do give two times the amount of XP that a uh, mob spawner normally would. So keep that in mind, guys. This is all this isn't a good this isn't going to go for a waste or it's not going to be a waste. It's going to it's a really, really good time. Uh, time investment in order to be successful in a survival SMP or even in a faction series. If you guys make a spawner like this in a factions world, it's probably going to be a little bit easier as the materials are just readily available to you. But it's a really, really good practice, especially. Oh, we're going to need more. Uh, we're going to need more stone bricks. So I'm going to, I might actually have to go mining because I'm out of cobblestone at home. I see. I, I have a couple stacks left here. All right, so let's finish up this little wall here. So this is basically what it, the inside of it is going to look like. So it, inside this little square here, the spawner will actually check an 8x8 radius around it for spawning platforms or slash spawning air blocks for it to be able to spawn the blaze into. Now, since it's all these are going to be eventually removed, the blaze will spawn and eventually fall down into our little mob trap that we're going to have below here. Now, you guys might be asking, why is there dead corners and why do you have this little ledge here? And we're going to explain that in the next part, guys. We're going to I'm going to pause the video right here. I'm going to mine out a little bit more of this layer down here, and I'm actually going to go mining for a couple like um, probably another 10 stacks of stone bricks or cobblestone and then make them into stone bricks because I do have to have a lot of stone bricks for this project so we will be right back guys I'm gonna mine out this little section here once again and then I'm gonna go make more stone bricks for this project I'm gonna also gather some pistons I need pistons I need uh, stone plates like the stone pressure plates and I need like redstone. So I'm going to grab all that and we will continue on with the next portion. All right, guys, we are back. We're going to head on over to the nether. Got some, myself some materials. So basically what I gathered was a bunch of stacks of stone bricks. Got some pressure plates. I got 23 sticky pistons only. I've got some redstone repeaters and some redstone. I'm probably going to have to make more redstone repeaters. I'm not really sure exactly how many we're going to need. So I bought got a bunch of oak woods and uh, some extra stone just in case so we're gonna kinda just gauge how much because I really don't know the exact amount that we're gonna need for this farm so we're gonna kinda just roll with it and uh, hopefully we can make it there safely without dying and if I could get this into that chest I will be good to go so I've kinda memorized the way back now and I do need some ladders for uh, for basically to make it an easier trip going all the way back up to the farm for right now and uh, where it is is actually it's situated pretty pretty close close by and all I got to do is let me find a clear wall let's go up this wall right let's pick this wall right here so we're just gonna make a I can't even put ladders on this oh I can it's just glitching for a second there that was weird all right so we're just gonna basically ladder all the way up this until we reach the top do 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 all right here we go guys oh there it is uh it's dirt or what is this gravel it's gravel 
I see. All right. And we are here. So here's the farm right here. And we will continue on with the build. But before I do that, I do have to mine out maybe another layer or two here. But I could do that afterwards. But we're going to move on to this next portion right here. And this is the basically the part that kind of makes it so that they funnel into a little into a little section of um, a little section of the farm so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh, some pressure plates and we're gonna take some sticky pistons and we're gonna place on every single corner other than the dead corner so I, I was referring to it earlier as a dead corner because this is kind of like the dead spot where they can kind of fall into and if they fall into there there's nothing really that we can do about it other than kind of just waiting for them to step out so what we're gonna do now is in every single portion of this inner of this inner square we made other than the corners you're going to put a pl pressure plate down and then so there's the pressure plates down all the way and then you're going to mine the two blocks that were initially covering that uh that that little section that we just opened up so all these pressure plates will be activating sticky pistons which will basically push the the remaining um the remaining blaze into a little slot so this is basically it's a really really simple design honestly it's it doesn't take it doesn't take too too long to make and it's really really simple and if you guys do know your redstone mechanisms you could you guys could probably come up with a better one but this is the probably the most common and the most simplest one to make and then all you gotta do is oh i'm gonna need to make some repeaters uh let's see i forgot the little recipe for redstone repeater i'm looking it up real quick so we need redstone torches and we need stone which is i have so this is perfect so let's make some redstone repeaters right now go into my storage shed oh the oh geez oh 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 no okay stay over there perfect ah! oh he withered me no that's bad oh geez all right let's block this off i don't want any of them Oh my gosh, how many hearts do I have? Alright, I'm good on hearts. Oh, these freaking nether things are so dangerous. I'm gonna grab two stacks with me. Deposit all this in here that I don't need right now. So we need stone. We need redstone. We need sticks. So let me make some more sticks. I don't know why I have an apple. Probably when I was gathering the... Uh, when I was gathering some more wood. Now to make this, we need first we need torches. So let's, let's get, just get a whole stack of torches, I guess. And then split these torches up like so. And then we need redstone in the middle. And then stone on the bottom. Oh, I need more redstone. Oh, we're going to need a lot more. Jeez. So let's see. So put this. We can make another 20, I guess, if I have enough stuffs. All right, there we go. We got 23 so far. Oh, th that's perfect. We only have 23 pistons. We're probably going to have to look for more slime because I do have a limited amount of slime. Probably going to do that off camera. Another off camera task to do. But what you're going to do is inside this little layer where you guys put the pistons, you're going to put a repeater facing into the block right behind it like so. And then you're going to put a sticky piston facing in towards the farm. Now what happens is once you guys put a actual block in front of the sticky piston, one of the, imagine I am a blaze. If I fall onto this block, I will get pushed in and slowly get funneled all the way down into a little funnel area that we're going to have over there. But as you guys can see, that it's a very simple mechanism. This is probably the most common, u commonly used mechanism for a blaze um for a blaze spawner grinder and it's probably i mean the most frequently used is probably this one and then the next one is probably just like a sort of like a mechanism that doesn't honest that doesn't really use um that doesn't necessarily use redstone but this is probably the most efficient and i like this method and i've been using this this build methodology for uh, basically all the the entire time that I've been playing on, you know, the Archon, all my faction series, I've been using this type of blaze farm, and I'm going to just stick with it. I basically know how to build it by heart, but I kind of just have to kind of have to review, and I have to have to think about it a little bit. But it's not too hard to build. It's, re it's a really simple concept. So there's two walls done. I Hopefully I have enough. I should have enough to finish this wall, but I'm going to have to get another couple more pistons, actually, because I'm not going to have the exact amount needed in order to finish this full farm. But we're going to go ahead and continue right here, like so, and then blocks like this, and there we go. This is basically this is basically it, guys. It's not, it's not hard. It's a very, as, as, as I was saying, it's a very simple design pistons and then repeaters and then there we go and then all I gotta do is put the block 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 
Come on. There we go. And then we have one more wall to do, and then we're done with this little piston portion. So we're going to do this portion one more time at in the very, very inside of the actual... Um, I think I think one more time if I measured it out correctly it should be one more time so we're gonna have to get more pistons and we're gonna have to get more repeaters as well but that'll be that'll be off of camera oh god oh god I'm getting suffocated all right there we go so there's that and this is basically it for the, the little, little this little portion right here I'm like stuttering here because I'm, I'm trying to think ahead of time as to what's next all right now for this next portion again we're gonna do one more layer another funneling layer and we're basically gonna copy the same exact concept that we've been doing for the little for the past uh, two layers and well for the past one layer with the pistons and you're just gonna go in a diagonal like so so two blocks two blocks two blocks like this and then one block in like this uh, actually let's do so they'll be funneled in and then we'll have another layer like so I think this should be I think this is the right dimensions if I'm if I'm remembering this correctly I just need to make sure I'm always within distance of that spawner so I need to make sure that that spawner wherever my bottom floor of my grinder I need to make sure that spawner is still gonna be able to get uh, ticked and basically make it so that it keeps on spawning even if I'm like you know 16 blocks away from it so I need to always keep an eye out on that little section over there just to make sure that I am still uh, spawning in the blaze right above me all right there we go so we got another funneling portion here let me grab more let me grab more stone bricks from my little storage chest doot, doot. two stacks should be good uh, there boom 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 so here's the one of the last layers that we're gonna have to do and we're gonna need another three we're gonna need three six nine tell we're gonna need another 12 sticky pistons and we're gonna need another 12 redstone repeaters and another 12 um, stone pads but basically this is I'm gonna end the episode right here guys there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff for me to actually do off of camera but this is the same exact concept you're gonna repeat this pattern um, onto this little layer right here and you're gonna basically copy what we had on this layer so it's but instead of one two three four five we're gonna have one two three and then they're all gonna be funneled into the very very last portion of the farm so thank you guys for watching today's episode we are gonna go ahead and continue we're trying to finish this little ender or not I keep saying ender why we're gonna try to finish this little blaze farm tutorial probably in at least th in at least or at the most four episodes but we're gonna try to fit it into three episodes hopefully but I'm gonna go off camera right now and collect more uh, sticky pistons so more slime balls and more uh, redstone repeaters so thank you guys for watching if you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far make sure you guys hit that like button leave a comment in the section below if you guys want any other types of tutorials other than this one and if I know how to do it I will try to figure it out for you guys thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys later.